Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. If you have started new channel Civil Academy, you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. Space Entrepreneurship and Enterprise Development is an initiative of which organization? So this is an initiative of ISRO. What is ISRO? It is Indian Space Research Organization. Chairperson of ISRO is K. Sivan. The objective of this initiative is to provide encouragement to the startups and to MSME who are working in the field of space. Name of initiative is SEED that is Space Entrepreneurship and Enterprise Development. Now this ISRO is under DOS that is Department of Space. Recently one more seed was in news and it is S W E D S. It stands for Sustainable Environment and Ecological Development Society. So recently this organization was in news because of Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puruskar. So in institutional category this Puruskar was given to this seeds organization. On the other hand in individual category this award was given to Rajendra Bhandari. This award is named after Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and this award is given by Ministry of Home Affairs. Recently Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was in news because 23rd of January is his birth anniversary and now it will be celebrated as Parakaram Divas. Next question is which country has created a new national ministry for extraterrestrial space affairs. So in simplest terms to promote the space activities this country has created a new ministry and the name of this country is Nicaragua. It is a country in Central America. Now recently few other governments were in news because of creation of new ministries. So recently Japan created a new ministry for loneliness. This was done to prevent the increasing rate of suicides. Now please note that in Asia Japan is first such country that means first country to do so. However Globally, UK that is United Kingdom is the first country to establish such ministry. Apart from that recently Italy was in news as recently Italy started a new ministry of ecological transition. Recently Italy was also in news because of its new prime minister. Who is the new prime minister? He is Mario Draghi. The capital of Italy is Rome. In fact the headquarters of FAO that is Food and Agriculture Organization is in Rome. FAO is an organization of United Nations. Recently FAO was in news as it completed 75 years of establishment. Recently UK was in news because it is the host of G7 summit. It is also the host of COP26 and in this COP26 event ISA that is International Solar Alliance is going to launch World Solar Bank. Next question is Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram celebrate their statehood day on which date? So these two states celebrate their statehood day on 20th of February because these two states attained their statehood on 20th of February in 1987 and this was done after 53rd amendment of the Indian constitution. So couple of important things. First this date is important that is 20th of February. Second is this 53rd constitutional amendment act is important. Actually in 1972 the SNEFA that is Northeast Frontier Agency was renamed as Union Territory of Arunachal Pradesh and then in 1987 it was granted the status of state. Similarly Mizoram was a Union Territory in 1972 and 1987 it got the status of state. Now four states that is Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram. These four states share border boundary with Myanmar. Four states are in sixth schedule. What are those four states? So these four states are that means the sixth schedule of constitution provides for the administration of tribal areas in the states of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram. So the code is ATM and in ATM you get money. So the code is ATM M. Please note that in this code Manipur is not there. That means you visited ATM for money but you didn't get the Manipur. Next question is passport seva program is an initiative of which union ministry? So it is an initiative of MEA that is Ministry of External Affairs. 
recently it was in use because of this dg locker platform so now the citizens can submit the documents for passport and these documents can be submitted with the help of dg locker platform what is dg locker it is similar to a locker where you keep your important things so it is a virtual or digital locker and it is an initiative of MEITY that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology so now it was in use because the documents which are in digital locker will be considered at par with the original physical documents so in simplest term you need not to go there to physically submit the documents instead of that you can submit your documents with the help of digital locker that means you can submit your documents online next question is which is the most trafficked mammal in the world so it is pangolin pangolin is the world's most trafficked mammal iucn that is international union for conservation of nature has classified all the eight species of pangolin as threatened to critically endangered so previously the status was threatened now these eight species have been classified as critically endangered please note that every third saturday of february month is celebrated as world pangolin day to spread the awareness and this time it was celebrated on 20th of february pangolins are considered as the pest controllers in the ecosystem now to prevent the trafficking of wild flora and fauna we have a convention and the name of this convention is washington convention it is also known as c i t e s that is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild flora and of fauna so this convention was a result of a resolution that was drafted at iucn meeting so few important points first thing first pangolin is the world's most trafficked mammal to prevent the trafficking of animals and plants we have a convention and it is cites that is washington convention full form of cites is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild flora and fauna and this is a convention which is based on a draft resolution that was passed during the meeting of iucn what is iucn it is international union for conservation of nature next question is which endangered animal has been cloned successfully in the usa recently so first thing first what is the meaning of this term cloned it means creation of an artificial copy or photocopy in simplest term in technical sense cloning is a process of producing individuals with identical or virtually identical dna that means you are producing individuals with identical or virtually identical dna okay so in this question the species is black footed ferret it is an endangered species recently it was in news because scientists have successfully cloned this species it is an endangered species and this is found in north america actually there are multiple varieties of this ferret but this black footed ferret is found in north america only so this species has been cloned and the name is that means the name of this cloned animal is elizabeth n so in exam let me ask you that recently the term elizabeth n was in use it is associated to so it is the name of cloned species of black footed ferret and this species is found in north america only so this is the name of species that has been cloned that means this is the name of new species and this is the name of species which was cloned that means from here that dna has been copied and it has been pasted here again it is a technical process but i am over simplifying it so that you can understand so this is the shows and this is the destination next question is what is mission indradhanush 3.0 which was in use recently so recently union health minister launched mission indradhanush 3.0 it is a program or vaccination program for the children and for the pregnant women who missed their regular vaccination because of this national lockdown scenario due to coronavirus first thing first it is a health initiative second thing is that it is a vaccination program and the target beneficiaries are children as well as pregnant women now this term indradhanush is also related to one more initiative and it is related to psb that is public sector banks so there is similar indradhanush initiative for banking sector it is also known as indradhanush plan or mission indradhanush for bankings and this was related to better governance in the banking sector and it was formulated on the basis of recommendation of pj nayak committee 
So in that Indradhanush banking plan, there's a code A, B, C, D, E, F. So please read about it. What is the full form of these keywords? Now, in the context of vaccination, one more important aspect was in use. Recently, different countries started providing coronavirus vaccine and India vaccinated approximately 1 crore people in 34 days. And India is the second fastest country to do so. Who is the fastest country? It is USA. USA vaccinated 1 crore people in 31 days. Next question is Atal Paryavaran Bhavan has been inaugurated in which union territory? So it has been inaugurated in the union territory of Lakshadi. Paryavaran stands for environment. So this was inaugurated by Union Environment Minister Prakas Javadekar. And this has been inaugurated in the union territory of Lakshadweep. Now recently, Lakshadweep was also in use because of KLI project. What is this KLI project? It is a project to connect Kochi with Lakshadweep Islands with the help of submarine optical fiber cable. Now in this context, usually a term is used and it is USOF. Answer in comment box. What is the full form of this USOF in the context of telecommunications? Next question is, which Indian company has signed an agreement with Green State of Norway for setting up the center of excellence on hydrogen? So this has been done by IOCL. IOCL stands for Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Recently, it has signed an agreement with the Green State. It is a company of Norway. Why this agreement has been signed? Center of excellence on hydrogen. So this will promote the research and development projects. These were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. So first is Diwali initiative. The full form of this Diwali initiative is Dutch Indian Water Alliance for Leadership Initiative. So this term is self-explanatory. You just need to remember that Diwali initiative is related to water alliance between India and Netherlands. What is the meaning of this term water alliance? That means both countries are going to collaborate to find out the solutions for the water related problems. Next is Pagadi Sambhal Divas. So in 1907, there was a movement against Britishers and this movement was Pagadi Sambhal and this movement was led by Mr. Ajit Singh. Mr. Singh was the uncle of Sahid Bhagat Singh. So this movement was a farm agitation against the Britishers. And this movement was started to protest against the three laws which were introduced by the Britishers and these laws were related to agriculture sector. Now, why it was in news recently? Because now farmers are protesting and they celebrated 23rd of February as this Pagadi Sambhal Divas just to commemorate the 1907 movement against new laws which were introduced by the Britishers. Next is Central Employment Guarantee Council. So recently this council was in news because of its meeting. So recently 22nd meeting of this council was organized. First thing first, who is the chairperson of this council? So MORD that is Union Minister of Rural Development is the chairperson and this council is constituted as per the provisions of MG Narega that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. So this is an act of 2005 and as per the provisions of section 10 of this MG Narega, this Central Employment Guarantee Council is constituted. Next is world's largest cricket stadium. So this is in Gujarat in Motera. Why it was in news recently? Because it has been now renamed after our current Prime Minister. Please note that this stadium is a part of a larger complex. And in this complex, there are different stadium. So this cricket stadium is one part of it. The name of this complex is named after Iron Man of India or Sardar Vallabhai Patel. There was quite political controversy about this renaming process, but from exam perspective, you just need to remember this, that it is in Gujarat. That means world's largest cricket stadium is in Gujarat. And to be specific, it is in Motera in Ahmedabad. And this place, this Motera lies on the west of Sabarmati River. Who is popular? Now one question for you. Who is popularly known as Sabarmati ke son? Next is Vijay Sapla. So recently, Mr. Sapla was in news as he has been appointed as the new chairperson of NCSC that is National Commission for Scheduled Caste. Please note that Article 338 contains the provision for National Commission for Scheduled Caste. That means it is a constitutional body. So three important bodies are NCSC. 
SC that is National Commission for Scheduled Caste, then NCST that is National Commission for Scheduled Tribes, and third is NCBC that is National Commission for Backward Classes. So Article 338 contains the provision for this, Article 338A contains the provision for this, and Article 338B contains the provision for this. One important point is that this NCBC used to be a statutory body. Recently, it was given the constitutional status. Now, please answer in comment box through which constitutional amendment act this was given the status of a constitutional body. These two, that is NCSC and NCST, used to be one. But through this 89th constitutional amendment act, these two were separated. Next is, Finance Ministry allows all private banks to participate in government business. Actually, previously, few top-level private banks were allowed to participate in the government business. Now, Finance Ministry allowed all the private banks to participate in it. So, why this was done? This was done to promote a sense of competition and this will promote efficiency in this sector. Next is Linda Thomas Greenfield. So, Linda Thomas was in news because recently USA appointed Linda Thomas as US Ambassador to United Nations. Next is COVAX initiative. So it is an initiative of three important entities. One is World Health Organization, another is CEPI, that is Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation, and third is GAVI, that is Global Vaccine Alliance. So the objective of this initiative, that means objective of this COVAX initiative is to provide vaccines to the poor and to the least developed countries. Recently, this initiative was in use because Ghana became the first country to receive free COVID vaccines through this COVAX alliance. The headquarters of CEPI is in Oslo. Oslo is in Norway. Headquarters of Gavi is in Geneva in Switzerland. Recently, WHO was in use because USA decided to rejoin WHO. Next is Fino Payments Bank. So recently, this was in use because this has been elevated to the status of SCB that is scheduled commercial bank. So recently RBI provided it the status of scheduled commercial bank. Now please answer in the comment box. Scheduled commercial banks are included in which schedule of RBI Act of 1934. Today's homework questions are a bit complicated because I want you people to dig little more. Next is news media and digital platforms mandatory bargaining code. So we have already discussed this code in our previous lectures. This Media Mandatory Bargaining Code is related to Australia and as per this code, entities like Google and Facebook will have to pay to the media outlets for using their content. It was in news recently because Australia passed this legislation. Now it has been formally passed. Next is Jasmine Harrison. So first thing first, Jasmine Harrison is from UK, that is United Kingdom. Recently she was in news because she became youngest woman to row Atlantic Ocean and she finished on top position in the 2020 Telisca Atlantic Challenge. Next is TRIPS that is trade related aspects of intellectual property rights. So TRIPS agreement is related to WTO that is World Trade Organization. Recently it was in use because India is in favor of waiver of these TRIPS norms for COVID vaccines. What is the argument of India? India is saying that because of these intellectual property rights, the price of vaccines will increase. But the developed countries are opposing this move of India. Why? Their argument is that if there won't be any intellectual property, then the pharma companies won't be interested in the research and development for the COVID related vaccines. So that is why this entire issue was in news. TRIPS stands for Trade Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights. Now please answer in comment box, which ministry in the government of India is the nodal authority for handling the intellectual property rights related issues. Last is draft national policy on migrant laborers. So recently this was released by Niti Ayub.